May the cuckoo we are strong is standing this one for your daughters in safety and assurance. Echo, 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 city in the trouble and see, see Africa. Echo, 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 city in the connection. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and let's grow this family together. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to Mr. Albion Mays of the USA. Um, he donated this book in March 2022. It's called Things Fall Apart. This is an African author that wrote this. So this is an African book. It's really beautiful. I read this when I was in the senior high school. I think we use this as our literature kind of thing, you know. I know this may be your first time of watching this particular video, and you might be wondering what Echo is talking about. My name is Echo Simpson, and I've been a teacher in this school for the past 14 years. Since 2008, that I was posted here as a teacher. I knew nobody. This was my first time of living in a rural community. But I told myself, hey, I've always wanted to have a beautiful experience elsewhere, especially in the rural community. So I was posted to this school in 2008 called Afrengwa DA Basic School. So 2009, I became the head teacher or the principal of the school. Yes. Now, being a teacher or being a head teacher, there are a lot of things that you wish the government would provide your school. There are a lot of things you wish the parents will collaborate with the teachers to project or to bring to the school. But at some point, personally, you would have to look at ways and means you can help develop the school. That is how come we have this library here. Just because you and you donated to this project. I want to say a very big thank you to everybody who, in one way or the other, I may know you, I may not know you anonymously, I want to say thank you very much for being part of this. This is not my money, but the donations that came from you watching this video. That is why today I come here to talk to you and also to seek for your last support before we launch this library. So a few years ago, I had a discussion with a friend of mine in the USA, he's called Gary. So we said, hey, we should build a library for the school. So I involved my staff and then they agreed and we drew the plan. The funny thing is that we drew the plan ourselves. We were in the classroom. We said, okay, this has to be here. This has to be here. That's all. And then because the school has some land, we decided to build a library there. Now, from the beginning, it was a bit hard. And the first person that donated Gary Sticks, we started molding cement blocks. So we had a brother who was so supportive. He opened a GoFundMe account. So people started donating monies and then he was sending it. And then we started building, we started building. I mean, I mean it was on social media, it was on Facebook. People started seeing, you know, the beginning of everything. My teachers, everybody, they'd be supportive until he had an issue with uh, his GoFundMe account. So then as time went on, we had a beautiful sister or auntie called Yasantiwa who said, hey, Echo, I've seen you building a library. Um, I want to support build this library. I was like beautiful. So she also started, you know, putting in support. And one time she came, I said, hey, let's let's get a GoFundMe account. And since she is from the USA and she's now living in Ghana, it will be easy for her to get the GoFundMe running because you can't run GoFundMe in Ghana. It's kind of difficult. Yes. Yeah, so we started the GoFundMe, and beautifully people started supporting the project again. So we came back to the drawing board and then we started building. And this is where we are right now. This is where we are right now. We've been able to complete the building totally. We fixed the doors and everything. We fixed the ceiling. We fixed the plugs, electricity. And finally, we're able to get support to build the shelves. Now, these books are coming from people that I don't even know. We had some of these books before the library. Do you remember? I made a video and I said, the mouse chewing our books. They were destroying our books. Also, yes, we have library books, but we don't have a library. 
Thank you. Then let me show you the library that we are planning to build. The library that we are planning to build. Yeah, so this is this is a stand that we bought and we constructed these blocks. We are supposed to construct uh, more of them. And then this is where we want to build. Let me show you. Yeah, this is where we have planned to build. This is the nursery block. And here is the teacher's quarters. And that is the basic one to six. And then the junior high level, junior high level is here. So we are trying to build a library in between this building and then the teacher's quarters. So it will be somewhere here. And uh, we are looking forward to get help, more help. Uh, like I said, Gary Sticks, my brother in the United States, is supporting us do this. Uh, and I hope that other people who are watching can also be of support. Show me where the, where the mouse have been chewing the books. Okay. Yeah, so these ones. Oh, so bad, so bad, so bad. Which one else? Okay. Mm. So these are these are like the droppings of the mouse when they chew the book and they have to sh to you know defecate and urinate onto the books. Close it, close it, close that thing. And the idea that came from some of you were like, Ekor, why don't you build a shelf? Why don't you build a library? So all these things come into play and I want to say thank you to everybody who has been a total support to this. Now, this is my final request to anybody who is watching me now. We have decided to launch or commission this library in August. So if you are looking at August, we are already in July. Today is 4th of July 2022. And I'm coming your way again to seek for your last support. I am pleading with you to give me your last support in this. Now, what do we need? We've been able to acquire three tables and then only six chairs, which is not enough. If we are looking at the average class, then we should have at least 20 chairs and at most five long tables. So I'm coming your way again, seeking for your support. This time, if you've never supported, please a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever. There's going to be a PayPal account or there's going to be an information in the description below where you can put in your support. Just write donate to library and support any amount you have to make this thing a success. Yes, I said we are looking at launching it in August 2022 and we will need extra tables and chairs. Now, the table that I am sitting in front right now is 8 feet by 4 feet, very long one. And we paid 50 plus dollars for a table. Yes, 50 plus dollars for a table. Now, each and every day, things do change. That is why I said 50 plus. The last time we went to buy cement for this place, it was 32 CDs. Now, cement is selling for 60 Ghana plus. Yeah, so a table costs $50 plus. So you want to say, Echo, I want to donate two long tables, which is $100. Then you donate it. We will get that in the library. Now, the chair that I'm sitting on, the chair that you see here, is about $30. $30 for one. This is a strong wood. So because of the kids, they keep moving things here and there. So $30, we will get another chair. So maybe you want to say, Echo, I want to support with five um, chairs. So that would be $150. We'll be very happy to finish this library so that in August coming, we will be able to launch this. So thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Echo Simpson. Subscribe and let's grow this channel together. Now, these are some of the things that I do in my school.
to make sure that the school is projected in a beautiful way. So, hey, thank you very much. I want to say I appreciate everybody who has supported. Yes, everybody who has supported. This isn't my money, but it is your money and our ideas that we all put together. This is what we can do to project Mother Africa. Yes, there are a lot of things that we can do together. And today, I'm very happy to share with you that come August 2022, we will launch the library that was never, but it is now. Thank you very much, and I appreciate your support. I'll put a description as to how you can donate to this library project. Peace.